hey, hey, hey. What's up, Facebook? What's up, friends? Uh, Ricky V here. I decided to do a Facebook Live. Um, Want to chat a little bit with you all about a couple things. So as you're coming in, just drop your name in the comments and let me know where you're coming in from. Uh, I'm excited to talk to you all today. Um, it's uh, it's crazy. It's crazy uh, how your brain, if you just trick yourself into doing something, you can get it done. And so I typically have to trick myself into doing these Facebook Lives because I get so shy, uh, I get nervous, and I and, and I tend to back out if I just don't trick my brain to do something. So uh, drop a comment below. Let me know where you're coming in from. What's up, Christine? What's up, Crystal? Uh, and again, you know, if you find value in this, please share it. What's up, Connie? What's up, world? I'm excited to be here today. Um, real quick before we get into it, by the way, I am going to be talking a little bit about gold, a little bit about Bitcoin, a little bit, a little bit about success. Um, what's up, Helen from the UK? What's up, Noel from Ireland? What's up, uh, Connie from Iowa? Uh, what's up, Joe? Hey, so as you're coming in, if you find value in this, share onto your Facebook wall. Uh, what's up, Claire? Uh, drop some comments below. Let me know where you're coming in from. Uh, by the way, I wrote down some notes. I went to an event last night. And I wrote down some notes, and, and that's what sparked up this conversation today as to why I want to chat with you all. Before I get into it, I want to give you all a, uh, a January recap, okay? It's because it's been a little bit crazy. Uh, I committed this year to having no sugar, uh, no flour, no salt, right? So it's just been straight like just hammered that like it, it was almost like just cold turkey cut out all the garbage uh december 31st i literally like at night on december 31st of 2017 i just ate like crazy like i literally ate everything possible like everything that was unhealthy i just wanted to get it out of my system and boom january 1st i uh decided to go and commit to these 365 days of just healthy eating, new habits, you know. I've mentioned this before, I'm gonna have a six pack by October 1st, I'm, I'm gonna get it done. Um, and so in order to do that, I can't just wing it, I can't just, uh, you know, try to try to eat healthy, I gotta get it done, so that's what I've done. So far, so, it was, so January was 31 days um, of eating healthy, no sugars, no flours, no, uh, no salts, uh, no soda, straight water, it was all water for 31 days. Um, what's up, Kelly from the UK? What's up, Barbara? Uh, so, so you know, uh, hitting the gym every single day. I started a swimming every single day, so that way I can get into. I get so bored of working out in a treadmill, so I got to do something different, um, and it's worked well for me. Uh, also, I committed to to ensuring that I read a book, one book every single week. And so the way I decided that I was going to do that was I was going to read 30 pages of a good book every single day, uh, sometimes 35, sometimes 40, but it averaged out to about a book per week. Uh, so for the month of January, I read three books, which were incredible. So I'm fired up in, in terms of mentality. Uh, I also committed to, to uh, listening to about two hours of just positive audio, you know, just get more aware of the little moments in time throughout the day where I'm wasting time and just get more disciplined and listening to good things, reading good things. And so for the month of uh, January, I have to have Admit that it was one of well, it was the first month in my life where I've done like everything consistently every single day from health to 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 mind to money to to team building to everything and it's just been unbelievable uh, the results already just in 31 days I dropped uh, 14 pounds uh, in 31 days and. Uh, I'm, I'm excited, you know, so I'm fired up. So that is my little, uh, my little uh, January recap right there for you all. Uh, what's up, Claire? Yes, mindset does matter. Alex Nickerson is asking where you get audios from. Uh, YouTube. I'm a YouTube junkie. Uh, I have YouTube Red, and YouTube Red allows you to create playlists. So what I what I do is I create playlists. I got I have like a you know like an Art Williams playlist. I have a Brian Tracy playlist. I have a Napoleon Hill and Earl Nightingale playlist. I have a Les Brown playlist. And I've just been I went from like you know not really wanting to do it to just straight obsession. It was crazy because I was telling one of my friends the other day I was at the gym. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to put the personal development down. I'm going to listen to some hip hop. I'm going to listen to something that fires me up. And as I started listening to some, some Eminem, it was funny because as, as I was uh, started lifting a little bit, 
I just wasn't feeling it. It was weird. It's like my brain had already began to change a little bit. And as soon as I went back to Les Brown, I felt pumped up again. So it's a little bit crazy how the mind begins to work. Uh, but anyways, welcome, welcome onto this Facebook Live. That's my January, re January recap. Drop a one below. I want to know from you to drop a one below if your January has been amazing, if you've committed to your goals and followed through for the month of January. Now we're February 1st. It's month two. It's crazy. It's month two already of 2018. Pretty soon, we're going to be looking at the end of the year making goals for 2019. So drop a one in the comments below if you're fired up about this year, if you're committed this year. More importantly, if you followed through for the month of January. I know I did, so I am dropping a one right now uh, verbally. One, right? Next thing, before I get into you know the nitty gritty of what I want to talk about, um, it's crazy, you know, like I'm scrolling through Facebook today and I come across an individual that's going through a very uh, hard time in life uh, and by hard, I mean like this crazy disease and um, as I was reading it, it got like I got a little bit emotional because it just I, I can't imagine going through those things w with having kids, you know, like it's just crazy what happens and it makes me realize how grateful we should be every single day for the ability that we have to wake up, for the ability that we have to uh, to be on a Facebook Live, the ability that we have to talk, the ability that we have to see, listen, taste, the, the you know the ability to have another shot at life every single day. I was I just felt this this overload of gratitude because it you know it's true what they say you know you can be going through something and then um, you think it's the worst thing in the world. But then when you come across something like I came across today, it all of a sudden just puts you on check. It's a, it's a big reality check. So before we end this day, before you end your day, I know we got people here from the UK, got people here all over the world. But what I'm going to ask you, ask of you today is that you don't end this day without giving gratitude and just closing your eyes and and picturing and imagining all the things in your life right now that you should be super grateful for that sometimes we just forget because we're constantly around them. Uh, so gratitude, okay? Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. What's up, Drew? What's up, Mandy? Um, by the way, if you find value in this, please share it onto your Facebook walls. I'm super excited. If you're watching this live, drop a two. If you're watching the replay, drop a three. Again, if you're watching this live, drop a two. If you're watching the replay, drop a three. All right, we're going to get into this. So I uh, attended this uh, this event last night, you know, and they were talking about gold and Bitcoin. Okay, so I'm not gonna gonna get into the 101 of gold and Bitcoin. I'm not gonna get into the whole debate of whether it's a good investment or not. You do what you gotta do with your money. Here's what I'll tell you though: the number one question, right, is like, why is gold so valuable, right? Why is gold so valuable? You know, it's just this this piece of like thing that's golden and the reason why it's so valuable is because there's a perceived value placed upon that product because it's not everywhere it's in high demand because there's not a whole lot of gold all over the world right like it's not like every single person on the block has a block of gold it's not like everyone in your neighborhood has blocks of gold it's not something that's just everywhere it's a precious metal that only very well i don't want to say very few people have but there's a perceived value in the demand because it's just not everywhere and, and there's there's not that there, you can you you can continue to produce money right you can just print paper uh, as much as you can but you can't just print off gold right so that's why you take a look at Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin was once worth under a penny, right? And now you've seen people become mega, mega, mega millionaires, uh, including billionaires, because then it hit over $15,000 per Bitcoin. Why did it hit over $15,000 per Bitcoin? And it's simply because um, there... There's only 21 million Bitcoin ever created. There's not like a billion Bitcoins out there. There's not half a billion. There's only 21 million. I don't want to say only, but there is. there was only ever created 21 million Bitcoin out there. So what that means is that there's a certain demand for that product because it's not just everywhere. It is not something that every single person on planet Earth has. You can get access to it, but there's only 21 million ever produced. Once that 21 million is mined, that's it. There's there's nothing else. There's you can't get more Bitcoin after that, right? 
So you saw the value of Bitcoin skyrocket. People made a lot of money. People lost a lot of money. But the point is that there's a certain perceived value inside of Bitcoin. So that made me just begin to think about certain things. And when you try to bridge that gap with what that has to do with success and what that has to do with you, right? Last, like, look around you, right? There's to be common in society. It's easy. Why? Because most people are common, right? And now this is not to disrespect or offend anyone. So I, I'm saying all these things as humble as possible. But the reality is, is that there's just it's common people are everywhere, right? And and so you go to your job right now, and it's just everyone's common. Let's say for example, and all of a sudden some guy walks in or some lady walks in dressed all nice, and you know she's like a speaker, she's a seven figure uh, motivational speaker. And all of a sudden, her perceived value that you have on her or him goes up, right? Have you ever seen leaders inside of network marketing companies that will go to another company because they got paid a lump sum of money to come help that company grow? I'm not going to get into a debate whether you think that's cool or not. The point is that there's a certain perceived value in the individual, right? It's the same reason why LeBron James is going to get paid more than most people playing in the NBA. It's the reason why Michael Jordan got paid the most than anyone else in the NBA. It's because there was a perceived value. So the whole point of it is, is that there, there's a difference between people that get paid a lot more and people that don't. There's, and, and it all is all up to you. So you got to begin to understand right now that the way Bitcoin goes up, the way gold goes up, the way the value in certain things go up is the same thing that you can do for yourself. It's the same thing that you can create in your life where all of a sudden there's a certain perceived value in you and people are seeking you. They want you on their team. They want you in their company. They're willing to pay you to come speak. They're willing to pay you to hop on a conference call and train their teams because now there's a certain perceived value that you're giving off to people because they know you're valuable. They know that you're good at what you do. You're a practitioner of your craft, right? So, so, just for just for kicks and giggles, drop a five in the comments below. I want to know personally from you if you are, you are focused on becoming a practitioner of your craft. You want to master your craft. It doesn't matter. You can be a network marketing. Drop a five below if you want to be the number one earner network marketing wide. Drop a one below if you want to be the number one paid distributor uh, in your in your company. Uh, period. You know, drop a five below if you want to be recognized, right? Like, I think that if you're in this industry just to make a couple dollars, it's a waste of time. Like, you should be getting into stuff with a winning mentality of you are going to the top. You want to be the best. You want to be the number one producer. You want to be featured everywhere. But in order to do that, you got to change the value of who you are. I'm not saying that some people are better than others. It just means that some of us develop our talents, our skills, and our abilities a lot more. We all have potential, but not all of us go out there and really work on ourselves to grow our mentality. So if you're getting value from this, please share this on your Facebook walls. Uh, by the way, I did write some notes here uh, that I'm going to go off of here. But um, the bottom line is, is that you got to build up enough desire uh, within yourself. You got to have enough personal willpower to go out there and do whatever it takes to make sure that you wake up in the morning and your butt's burning for, for success. Your butt's burning to go out there and, and just make the best of the day, make the best of yourself. Um, no alarm clock needed, just pure passion, right? You, you wake up without the alarm going off. You wake up 10 minutes before the alarm goes off, you're excited. You wake up enthusiastic. You wake up with tons of energy. You wake up with this readiness about you, like watch out world, look who just woke up. You wake up with that confidence and that mentality. So you, you look at like, okay, what's the difference between someone that's making 10,000 bucks a year versus someone that's making $100,000 a year, right? What's the difference between someone that's making 10,000 bucks a year versus someone that's making 100 grand a year? Or the difference between someone making 100 grand a year versus 100 grand a month? It's that the person making 100 grand a year is the person that just wants it a little bit more. It's the person that works at it just a little bit more. It's the person that bleeds their product. It's the person that bleeds their company just a little bit more. It's like the person that if, you, if they cut their arm, they'd start gushing out uh, shakes or whatever it is you're promoting in your company. It's that person that just represents themselves in a different way, that carries themselves a different way. They're fired up about life and it doesn't take that much. It's just a little bit more. You work up a little bit. You wake up a little bit earlier. You go to sleep a little bit later. You work a little bit harder. You're tired. It's the evening, but you, you, you set up tomorrow for success. 
success by reaching out to 10 more people tonight. It's the person that has the will to win. It's the person that's willing to give up certain things and do whatever it takes to just get the job done. But guess what? Most people are almost people. Most people are sometimes people. I almost got the job done. I almost hit my goals. I almost recruited two people. I almost made it to the top. I sometimes work my business. I sometimes take the weekends off. I sometimes only work my business once a week. Sometimes people, almost people, never make it to the top because their, fi- their butt isn't burning with desire. Their butt isn't burning with passion. So you got to get yourself to that point where there's just so much desire and will within you to go out there and do whatever it takes and not be a sometimes person and not be an almost person. So drop a comment below right now. Drop a, drop a 10. I want you to drop a 10 if you're going to go from a sometimes person, if you're going to go from an almost person to a get the job done person. Get the job done mentality. Hey, I'm going to be a top earner in my company. Great. Quit talking about it. Go get the job done. Right, hey, I'm gonna go break records this year. This year's gonna be my biggest year of my life. Great, awesome. Quit talking about it. Go get the job done. Right, oh man, I'm gonna go out there and get a six pack. Great, cool. Stop talking about it. Go out there and get the job done. Because it doesn't matter how much reading you do, doesn't matter how much visualization you do, all of that means nothing if you're not willing to go out there and take action today and be a hundred percent committed, have the will and have the desire to go out there and get the job done and win and go through the process. You got to love going through the process. You got to love failing. You got to love the rejection. You got to love the, the, the growth. You got to love the reading. You got to love the, the people that quit. You got to love that people that join your team. You got to just love, fall in love with the process. You know, I'm reading, uh, Andrew Carnegie's uh, biography, right? And it's the craziest thing because he's talking about how like even though he's made millions upon millions upon millions of dollars, the happiest moment in his life was when he made his first $2 for the week because it was that moment in life when he came, he, he felt more excited about life because now he was getting paid $2 a week. And then as you're reading the biography, he talks about how happy he was when he worked his way up to making $10 a week. And right now I'm in a part of a book where his income finally went up to about $150 per week and he thought he's made it. Now, of course, back then $150 a week uh, was like, you know, hitting the lottery or whatever. But the reality is, is that, um, you know, he enjoyed the process. He felt fulfillment. You know, one of the things I admire about Andrew Carnegie on, in his biography is that as, as people were promoting him to higher ranks within a company, uh, they'd come up to him and they'd be like, hey, we got to promote you. Uh, how much do you want to get paid? And he said, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this for the, for the reputation. I'm doing this for, 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 for like the, just the know-how. I, you know, promoting me is all the, all the salary I need. You don't need to pay me anymore. And because he had that mentality, he was going the extra mile. He wasn't doing things for the buck. He was getting paid more and more and more and more, eventually made hundreds of millions of dollars. But that's when you got to go from the thinking mentality, the brain mentality to the heart power. That's when you go from the heart power to the gut power. Heart, gut, heart, gut, because you know at the end of the day what you should be doing, right? Your brain doesn't have to tell you. You feel your emotions. You feel your heart pounding, right? You feel your heart pounding when you got to go make a phone call and you're scared. But once you do it, you got the job done. Right, so you gotta start leading from your heart. You gotta start leading from your gut. Right, you ever been in one of those situations where, like, you know what you should do, but you do the opposite and it all goes sour? They say the difference between men and women is that, you know, men and women both have intuition, but women listen to their intuition. Uh, Men don't, right? And I I gotta say, that's probably true. Um, So, anyways. This whole point of it has to do with perceived value. There's a lot of things that you can do to create a higher value in yourself and and make yourself a higher demand, right? There's only one of you. There is only one of you, but that's not enough. That's really not enough because even though there's one of you, there's millions of people that are just common. There's millions of people that are cool with just going with the flow. There's millions of people that are just whatever kind of people. But very few develop themselves because there's only one of you, but there's very few people that go out there and develop themselves to a higher capacity so much so that they just get paid more. They get promoted faster. They win bigger. They take their teams to championships. And you want to have that mentality that you're going to be that person as well, right? If someone, do, if someone already did it, you can do it.
period. That's the bottom line. So anyways, that with that, I'm going to wrap it up. I didn't want to make this too long, but I hope you had a great January. I know I did. I committed to doing certain things every single day and not one single day did I miss. Not even the nights when I was exhausted, I did not miss. I'm holding myself accountable for me. So if you didn't have such a great January, that's okay. Forgive yourself, forget it, and reset yourself and make sure that now it's February 1st. Do not miss a day from here on out. Don't say you're gonna start next week, Monday. Don't say you're gonna plan out Sunday night what you're gonna do next week. Begin right now, take action right now, and watch your world change the moment that you just immerse yourself into something and stop thinking about the money and just focus on growing you and growing your business to the highest possible capacity. With that, if you find value in this Facebook Live, share it with other people, tag your teams on it. I like to keep it generic, but uh, with that, everyone, uh, go have an incredible day.